Today I'm going to be making one of my favorites and one of my husband's favorites, spaghetti and meatballs. Plant-based, of course. Stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan. Welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN. I follow a whole food plant-based way of eating. And on my channel, you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. And be sure to follow me on Instagram for some more plant-based content. I also encourage you to check out the description box below where you will find the full recipe and all the resources I offer. I have a newsletter, an e-guide, I have a Facebook group, and I have an online course. There's discount codes down below and a lot of other things, so feel free to check that out. So today I'm going to be doing a spaghetti and meatballs. I'll be using some chickpea spaghetti. So that's going to be a little bit higher in protein and fiber than your regular spaghetti. It's also gluten free. And I will also be making my meatballs with TVP, textured vegetable protein. So they're going to be protein rich and delicious. So the first thing I want to do is rehydrate my TVP and then I want to jump on the sauce because I like my sauce to cook for a little bit and then we'll move on to making those meatballs which are going to be baked so there will be no oil, low fat. This is a really good dish for weight loss because you're eating a low calorie density and you're still getting a good amount of protein. So let's get started. I'm using Bob's Red Mill TVP. It's basically just soy flour. It looks like this, and this is going to be a ground beef substitute. It's got a very um, good texture, and but you have to rehydrate it. I have one cup of veggie broth here, and how I made that was I used this not beef bouillon. I just used a half a cube. There is a little bit of shea butter in here, and that brings it up to, and that has 1.5 grams of fat, but this is going to be in the whole meatball recipe, so it's really not that much. So we're going to add this here. And I don't want it to, I'm not even going to use it all. You just want to cover it. You don't want it super soupy or anything, um, but you want it to be hydrated and it's already absorbing. It's perfect. All right, I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to meet you over at the stove and we're going to start the sauce. So I have a couple tablespoons of water heating up in here and I'm just going to add a half a cup of chopped onion and just saute this for a minute or two, probably two minutes. And I don't like a lot of onion, just a little bit of onion in the sauce. Next we'll add in about a teaspoon of minced garlic and we'll let this go for a minute or so. Next I'm adding in a 28 ounce can of tomatoes, crushed. And then I'm going to add 6 ounces of tomato paste. Then I'm going to add 6 ounces of water. A tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And we're just going to get that all mixed in. And if I feel like I need to add some more water, I will. I did end up adding about four more ounces of water. And you can add water as you go along because it's going to thicken up as you cook. Just whatever kind of consistency you like. I also add about this much of a carrot. That helps cut some of the acid. And then I also put in a big pinch of organic sugar as well to help cut the acid. All right, so we're just going to let this simmer while I'm doing everything else. I'll check on it from time to time. And then I'm going to add a little bit of red pepper flakes. That's optional. And we'll just let this cook. We'll just let this simmer. And by the way, these are fire roasted tomatoes. I, I like those better than regular tomatoes. So, but if you want regular, use regular. All right, so here is our TVP all rehydrated. And you can see there's not a lot of extra moisture. 
All right, so we're gonna add in all our stuff. First, we've got spices. I've got onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning. Then I've got two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Then I'm gonna put a tablespoon of tamari. This is gluten-free. So, uh, you can use soy sauce if you're not gluten-free. And then I have a quarter cup of quinoa flour that I'm gonna put in. And then we're just gonna get this all incorporated. And you may need to add more flour, or you may need to add a little water. I mean, it just depends. You gotta get the right consistency so they hold together in a ball. You could also use breadcrumbs if you want. It doesn't have to be flour. It's just hard to find gluten-free breadcrumbs that don't have oil in them. So you just see if they'll hold together. Okay, this is looking pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna mix this up a little more and then we'll make our meatballs. Just wanna make sure everything's incorporated. And then you're gonna do salt and pepper to taste. The tamari's got a little sodium in it. The bouillon has some sodium in it. So just, just check and see if it, if it needs a little salt or pepper. You want your meatballs to be one or two inches. You know, just, just wanna make sure they stay together. And you know, they're gonna be fragile. You know, they're not, this isn't meat. So we'll just put that on the baking sheet. And I'm gonna try to get as many as I can out of this. And then I'm gonna pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes. I've already got my water boiling for my pasta. So it should all come together in about 20 minutes. Spaghetti and meatballs been waiting for this moment. First, I must taste the spaghetti. And I use just the bonza chickpea spaghetti. Mmm, mm, very good. And take a close up of those meatballs. Yummy. This recipe makes 10 meatballs. Let's see. Oh. Looks pretty good. Oh my gosh. Just want to show you. If you can see the inside, looks pretty good. Yeah. I just added some flat leaf parsley into the sauce like the last five minutes. So this recipe serves three and it comes in at 590 calories and 36 grams of protein. So pretty darn good. So there's 10 meatballs, so somebody's gonna get four. So you have to fight over that anyway. If you like this video, if you learned something, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you've made it this far in the video, please comment below with meatballs. And that way I know you made it to the end with me and I really appreciate it. Be sure to check out the description box for the full recipe. It's all there for you. And also check out the links down there for the resources I offer and for discount codes. Remember that all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet, and what we put on our plate determines our fate and our weight. Until next time, thank you. Well, I need <sighs> one cup of veggie broth here. Blah, blah, blah. So you're just going to put those on the baking sheet. It would be nice if you could see them, huh? And be sure to check out the be sure to check out everything in the... Blah.